Pearson has been in a unique position the last uh, two years. Uh, it's been growing around 7% a year. We add about 2.5 million passengers, and we expect to add another 2.5 million this year. We'll hit over 41 million passengers from North America. We're the second busiest international airport. The global economy is actually made up of, of spikes, of poles of activity of, uh, that are clustering in particular places and growing. And, and Toronto is one of those spikes, right? It's one of those places where people gather. Those spikes have two really important qualities. They're places where people get together and share knowledge really easily. But the second quality that they, those places have is that they're connected to other places around the world that are doing the same thing. Airports are increasingly becoming uh, the places where meetings happen as well. So we see the, the kind of meeting business going up tremendously. We also see a really interesting evolution in the, in the retail. More and more purchasing that we do takes place in airports. What's most attractive now is offering something local, the culture and the place that people are in. So if all the, the, you're able to experience when you come to Toronto is Pearson, you want to at least have a taste of what the place is like. Your journey starts from your home, and we as airport have to look at how we can facilitate, really from the time you want to go on a journey from your home, to the time you reach your final destination on the other side. The major change I see with the iPhone, that technology increased the desire for the people to go see those places. Because you see it here, you access information so easily, but I think we're all still human beings. We actually want to go touch it and feel it. I think that that technology actually, with reasonable airfare, allows the world, what I think finally say, the global village is indeed getting smaller.